Okay, uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, check the bias setting on your atomic amplifier. Um, for this you'll need your atomic amplifier, a power supply, uh, mains obviously, um, a multimeter capable of measuring volts DC, and a flathead screwdriver with a plastic handle, and a crosshead screwdriver and uh, the crosshead screwdriver is for the screws on the side of the unit side of the amp and the, um, the small screwdriver is for adjusting the uh, bias uh, pot, trim pot, which we'll go to any second right. Uh, right, to remove the amplifier section of your atomic you need to uh, I'll just roll this round to get the light on the subject Okay, we've got these four screws here, one, two, three, four, and they're the only two that you need to undo, so I'll do that now. Right, once the screws are out, the next step is to pull out the amplifier this section by the bottom handle and the top handle um, the amplifier is quite heavy because it's got several transformers inside it so it has a tendency to go uh, lean, the te tendency for the top to stay in so you need to pull on the top and pull on the bottom equally to keep it parallel as it comes out and I'll do that now you may have to jig through it it will only stick on the, the uh, bolt that's at the bottom which is holding one of the transformers in and the uh, threads section for the screws which um, catch on the inside of the, the leather covering okay and it's out and the wire for the speaker or speakers is at its full extent here so it might unplug so just make sure that it doesn't unplug and uh, you can leave the amp semi semi in like that and uh, for better light I'm going to try and uh, turn the amplifier cab cabinet on its side uh, like this so grab it one end lean it over like that and that gives you all your goods that you need to get to available with the light in the right place like this okay right here is a trim pot and the idea is you rotate it to set the voltage across this resistor which is the larger of the two this one here for information's sake it's R18 and it's a 10 ohm resistor Right, we need to get a multimeter between this pin on this resistor, obviously, sorry, it's the same resistor, between this pin and that pin there, which my finger is just about to touch on the image. Um, you need to get between there, you've got to be careful of this metal back here, you don't want to touch anything else other than what you're trying to read. So, uh, I, when I did this first, I, I practiced a few times to make sure I wasn't going to slip off and don't apply too much pressure to the solder contact because... Yeah, you slip, you keep going, you know. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to place the camera in a position where you can look down upon what I'm doing. And um, yeah, that'll be on the next scene. Okay, just to recap, you want to make sure you can get on that terminal uh, of that resistor, which is um, just at the bottom and the top. And you want to be able to measure like that. And of course there's reading of zero at the moment because we haven't turned it on and we're going to do that now. We need to turn it on for a good 15 minutes to make sure it's all nice warmed up. <laughs> Obviously make doubly sure that you've got your uh, um, speaker multi-plug plugged in, which we have. And we're going to turn the unit on now. Let it warm up for the first minute. And... Uh, when that minute's up, we're going to turn on the amp and let it run for about 15 minutes on idle with nothing running through, volume turned down, 
and uh, that's where the video will continue. Right. Great right. Okay. Get that out of the way. Now it's time to grab your voltmeter and you want to set it to the 2 volt range because you're going to be measuring uh, in millivolts. And according to uh, atomic amplifiers, um, the bias, which is the voltage across, well, bias, voltage, uh, voltage across the R18 resistor should be between 740 and 760 millivolts okay which is 0.74 or 0.76 volts uh, so I'm just going to take a measurement first and it's a bit difficult to measure and adjust at the same time so I'm going to measure then adjust okay so I'm just going to uh, any probe any order bottom one first to slightly rest on the uh, terminal there and the uh, answer at the moment is 0.68 so I've got a long way to go um, so I'm going to grab my screwdriver and I'm going to just turn it a few degrees not much at all sort of five minutes if you imagine it as a clock and check again 728 so 738 a bit further Remember not to touch anything metal with your finger on the screwdriver. Right, we're getting close to uh, where we want to be now. That's 748. I'm going to go for the middle and go for 750. So I need to turn it a little bit further. Probably gone over now. Yeah, a little bit too high, so I need to turn it back. It seems that turning it anti clockwise is reducing the voltage. Seventy-five. Well, I'm not going to do it any further than that. Um, you want to be careful around here. Anything could be live. Um, with quite high voltages, so uh, be extremely careful not to touch anything on this amplifier when it's live, and even when it's switched off, the capacitors will still hold a charge. And if you look at the capacitor, they're rated at 250 volts. Some of them. So, uh, uh, touching anything in this amplifier is known to kill people, apparently. So, uh, be very careful, and uh, I will not be held responsible if you uh, 
blow up your amplifier or blow yourself up and blow or blow someone else up. Um, if you want to save yourself a bit of cash and risk your life slightly, then uh, check your own bias in the way that I've done it. Um, if not, if you don't feel comfortable, just you know pay however much it is to get someone else to check it. Um, so there we are, 750. So that's what we've got to set at. Turn your multimeter off, turn the amp off, let it cool down, and then when you're ready, just uh, repeat the process in reverse. Write the amplifier, make sure the speaker plug is staying plugged in, and just push the amp back in its slot and put the screws back in, and uh, it should be sorted, man. <laughs>